Hey guys, in this video, let us discuss about one of the Java 8 features, Function Interface. Let us understand about the Function Interface and how to use or implement it in a Java application. This Function Interface is a Functional Interface. It means that it has only one abstract method. It takes generic type. The first parameter indicates the data type of the input. The second parameter indicates the data type of the output. First, let us import this function interface. It is from java.util.function package. util.function.star. Now, let me click on this function interface. Let us see the declaration. Control click. This function interface is annotated with add functional interface. It means that this is a functional interface. It can have only one abstract method apply. The input of apply is T. The output of apply is R. So that is represented over here in generics. The input to function has the data type as T and the output of function has the data type as R. In our case, we are having both a string only. Okay, fine. Now let us implement this function interface using lambda expression. So function fun equal to in apply we are having only one parameter. So let me take that parameter come here use it over here directly. So for us it is of type string. So I can just give string str arrow method body return str dot to uppercase. That is the input to the method apply take string as parameter and the output also should be a string. And in the next line, I can call apply method fun dot apply. You can see that it takes string as input and returns string as output. Hello. So let me just print this in CISO. Let me run the application. You can see the output hello is printed in uppercase. Now let me write this in a single line. I don't need any return statement. And I have removed the curly braces also. After the implementation in the next line call the apply method. Now let us try one more scenario where the input is of type string and the output is of type integer. Function string comma integer. Fun 1 equal to str that is input is string and I want to get the length of the string return str dot length because I am going to write it in a single line I don't have to use the return statement the next line called apply method fun 1 dot apply by passing hello let me run the application in the second case you can see the length of the string is getting printed Okay, fine. In the above two cases, we have used the inbuilt class string and the wrapper class integer. What if there is a scenario wherein my input to this function is a user defined class and the output that I am expecting is a string. Let us see how to implement this. For this, I need a class. Let us create an employee class. The class name is employee. Let me add three instance variables, employee name, city and salary. Create the default and parameterized constructor, get a set of methods and generate two string. Default constructor, parameterized constructor, get a setters and generate two string. Let me save this, go back to the class. Here we are going to see a user defined implementation of function interface. So in this case, this function interface takes employee as input and returns string as output. That is fun emp equal to round bracket. We are passing an employee object. So if you want, you can even specify the data type employee empl arrow method body return. Now you need to return a string. You can even simply return a hello. But we want the implementation from the employee class. So I can directly give return 
EMPL dot get employee name. This also can be written in a single line. The next line, let us call this fun EMP dot apply. I need to pass an employee object. It will return the name of the employee. Let us create the employee object. We will use the parameterized constructor. So this should return the name of the employee. Let me run this. Here you can see the output. So you are passing an employee object and getting the name of that object. In this case, we are getting the name of the employee. What if I want to get the salary of the employee? So in this case, we need to give function. The input is employee, comma, the output is double. Fun emp1 equal to employee arrow employee dot get salary. And in the next line, let us call the apply method. Fun emp1 dot apply. You can see that. It takes employee as input and returns double as output. Apply. Let me copy the same employee object. The return type is a double value. Double salary equal to and piso salary. Let me run the application. So the input to the function is an employee object and the output from the function interface is the salary which is a double value. Okay fine. This is our user defined implementation. Is there any other place where our function interface is getting used? That is in any inbuilt method. Yes. In streams API there is a method called as map. Within the map method we are using the function interface. Now let me show you how to use this map method of streams API together with the function interface. For this, we need a list of employee objects. So first, let me create a list of employee objects. So this is my list of employee objects. Now let us see how to use the map method. So let us convert this employees into a stream. Employees.stream.map Map takes function as parameter. It means you need to pass an object of the class that implements function. We have learned to use lambda expression. So it means that you need to write the implementation of function interface inside this map method. What are the parameters of this function interface? The input is of course employee. The output can be anything. You can, you can have the return type of this function as integer or string or double or float whatever you want. So let us start with this map. map. I need to write the implementation. So I am going to use this specific implementation that is passing the employee object as parameter and getting the name of the employees alone as the return type. Okay. So, and I am going to convert it, the employee names also into uppercase. So inside map, this takes employee as parameter and you need to return employee dot get employee name dot to uppercase. And I need to convert this back into a list. So it is dot collect. Collectors dot to list. Let me write this in multiple lines. This is collectors dot to list. So the stream is getting converted back into a list. But this is a list of string, not a list of employee. Why? Because we are feeding the employee object as the input and we are getting only the name of the employees as output. So this is a list of string. So let me just have the return type as list of string. Employee names. And let us try to print it. EMP names dot for each. Use method references. System dot out double colon print under. Save this. Now let us run the application. Now you will see the name of the employees in uppercase. So what we have done here is we are having a list of employees. We are converting the employees list into a stream. 
and we are calling the map method. Map takes function as parameter. So you need to write the implementation of function inside this map method. So here we are passing employee as input and we are getting the name of the employee as output. That is the return type is a string. You can also have the return type as double. So in that scenario you can write employee.getSalary. You can try that out. So this is how you need to implement function interface. That's all. Thank you.